team mentality going into week nine, where we faced Boston uh, as our first opponent. The team was basically not in a good mentality. During scrims preparing for week nine, uh, we actually we actually played pretty well in scrims. We were really getting some good results against some better teams, but morale I think was probably the hardest thing for us. Um, we were really struggling to keep focused. Going into those matches, even though we were doing well in scrims, everyone, you could just feel it. Like the energy in the room, that kind of stuff. It just wasn't there. So it was really hard to uh, get your expectations and your positivity up. The mentality was basically to just gather the thoughts and not let it drag us our, ourselves down. Basically not fall into a pit or something and then not see the light. As a team we're trying to bring it all together but when you're going in with the same lineup, the same roster and you know there's going to be the same issues, it's really hard to uh, gel together. It was hard. It was really hard. Today we find out who they'll be fielding. Custer coming in on support. Chips looks like he's back in business. This squad. This with the pulse bomb. Oh, that one hurts. Custer still getting taken down though, and it looks like Boston still will be able to take the point. Punt it backwards. The right side of the screen for Boston and by Taimu. Dallas not able to take point B. It's going to be the Boston Uprising coming out on top on Bull Sky Industries. And Gamsu with another kill as well. Stryker does go down. Gamsu with his ultimate, and he can use it now again. Gamsu caught on the outside of the point. Gamsu is a massacre. Gamsu with a couple kills. Dallas holding the point for the moment here. Oh, goodbye. Stryker sleeps with the fishes, or at least the holographic fishes, anyway. He's going to go for nice. that. He is, in fact. <laughs> Nice. Recall back Sway. over inside of this fight while Stryker controls the point himself. That's it, and that's going to be Night Market going to Boston. Impressive work from Boston. Okay, he's on the cusp of the back lines. Cusp in a lot of trouble. Goes down. Gamsu just walked up and fried him. How in the world do you get to do that? Boston with a couple kills already here, and it's all clean up. Dallas in so much trouble. Right? AKM. This dragon blade, I suppose they could use it to take the point, but he needs to be a one-man army here. Oh, Custa just jumps in and goes down. The blade denied, as is the win on King's Row. Boston Uprising will take the map and go up 3-0. I would say that we weren't prepared. We, we might have been ready in the sense that we have like some general strategy, but we don't have the tactics for it, or we haven't implemented the tactics uh, with the correct personnel or, you know, the correct way, or had enough time to learn them, and uh, we couldn't execute it. Uh, whatever we talked about in the strategy talk. Better than angry. We're try we're well, trying if everyone angry, I will not talk to anyone. If I'm angry, I stop talking. And I said, Yeah, I know. I, I, I agree. Yeah, that, that's bad. Yeah. When? When change? I think the biggest problem that we have within this team is that we are playing solo queue. We're not playing as a team and we're never on the same page. So people don't know what to do and like it feels like we're scattered always. It's not going to change overnight. Do you like remember it. Mayhem? We have a super good main, I, mindset, right? Yeah. And we stay in, stay in here and eat the pizza with the team talk. Why we lose? Okay, we, cause we're, just because we do it for one week for five days, for three days, I don't know how long we did it for, doesn't mean we're gonna start winning instantly. We need to have this mindset, we need to have this attitude for a, at least a month, because at least one person hasn't been putting in the time. And one person, at least one person, hasn't been giving it their all. And that is why it is a compounding effect and it's inconsistent. And that, like, we're expecting results to change even though we're not actually doing what we need to improve. The biggest problem is you guys, some, someone wants to really try hard one day, and then they go into the match, we lose, and it's like, well, f this, why would I bother anyways? And then it gets in this vicious, vicious cycle of someone just having a bad day and stuff, and it's never consistent. You guys have to be in this together. You guys are all in this room as a team. It's, it, it hasn't been consistent. You know, we have these, these hiccups from players or other teams, or other teammates, that happens, or even coaching staff. Like, you know, Cal and Pika start working out their strategy and what they want to do. Myself, I'm, I've been talking to them a lot. It's not just you guys as players, it's everybody. Right? Yeah. And they need to get better at certain things themselves. They know that. I need to get better at other things to facilitate you guys more. I know that. You guys need to know that you guys need to be better yourselves as well.
try and take positive some things that happened. Like, yes, there were some good showings in s certain parts of that map. Team Bill started calling more. I think that was a benefit. Um, but we got to build from it. Every time we start building, something does this, and then it fucking crumbles again. You understand, right? That's what it seems like. It's always like, okay, we're doing something. Oh, wait, something happens, and then it's done. But you guys have to keep building. Sure, it slips up. Keep building up. It's going to take time. And, but everybody needs to be there building up, or it won't work. And it can work, because you guys are all talented and good enough to be better than fucking boss and all these other teams, you know? It's all about improving from here now. We have to be in it together. Uh, obviously, a 4 0 sucks, and uh, yeah, everyone was basically feeling down. And compared to when we played better, but still lost, you, you, you see like that you did some good stuff, but when it was 4 0 like this, it's more like you only see mistakes, and that's very rough to get out of like that mindset. And Let's bring out our first team, it's the Dallas Fuel. We're gonna see a new lineup from the squad. I see Chips in there, I see Cuss in there. That means Harry's on the bench. And we're thinking slow and steady, he's gonna win the race here. And the Dallas Fuel have been able to shift the Philadelphia Fusion off of this first point now. But it's time for the Dragon Blade. We know what EQO can do with these. The Transcendence though is out in response. No surprises there. The scene is getting old, pretty much entirely nullified. It's gonna be one here, surely. Custer goes down there. EQO is looking for his next one. Frankie's found chips. Both supports are missing for the Dallas Fuel. Instinct was misplaced. And that's it. Looking for his target, and there it is. He's gonna lay a trade down, making sure Poker couldn't eat it up. And the Dallas Fuel converge around the entirety of the Philadelphia Fusion, who are drawn together as gravitational forces. And that will give them the team fight here in the nick of time. At the 11th hour, but still he gets back up and fights too. In fact, wasn't able to pick up Boombox on the healing. He's still going to be there. Another attempt at the Graviton Surge and another flopped one as the Philadelphia Fusion push in. Poco uses his. The man knows he doesn't need to save that any longer. Right now. Oh, a little bit too late. EQI would have loved to have half a second early, but they still got the mech blown up pretty much straight away. And this is what we'd like to see from the Philadelphia Fusion. Very proactive, defensive approach. Loving the aggression. In fact, finally sprints forth from the shadows in the backside to remove Poker from his mech. And that means it's an easy barrage for Rascal. Gets himself two. Rascal gets fire struck. Mickey gets a dig, gets a resuit. He probably didn't care, intend to kill anyone with a self-destruct from that height, but he needed a full HP mech to at least have a chance of stalling this out a little bit longer. Frankie's got primer rage. I don't think Dallas can even get back to the point now. No, they're way too far away. Chips, chariots of fire play slowly in the back. Another big win from the boys in Origin, I have to say, now they'll be happy with that. We were really demoralized at that point. Two teams we really needed to beat and it didn't look like there was a fix in sight. Um, it felt like a lot of these issues that we were having were just like super ingrained in us and that it felt like every time we tried to do something, it wasn't always working out for us. It's really hard when you're going through these tough losses and there's a lot of uh, those kind of things happening. We can't, we can't let let these losses, even as rough as they might have been, or like even if they are even rougher, you have to like push through and sort of uh, tell yourself to not sit and cry. You know, not that we do that, but like uh, you can't give up. Basically, you have to accept that a loss is a loss, and uh, then there's a next match coming up.